Welcome to the Windsor Guildhall, a building where merchants, traders, magistrates and councillors met. This room is the vestibule and is where guests gather before meetings. The large wooden board records the bailiffs and mayors of Windsor from 1321 to the present day. Above the fireplace is a copy of Anthony Van Dyke's painting of the five eldest children of Charles I. The child in the red dress on the left became King James II. Above the display case is a painting representing William Prince of Orange receiving the Helm of State in 1689 after the abdication of James II. On display are many items from our civic collection which have been gifted to the town. The white vase commemorates the Silver Jubilee of Elizabeth II with her profile and that of Prince Philip used as the outline of the vase. Can you see them? This council chamber has been used as a courtroom from 1690 to 1971. You can still see the dais and railings where the mayor and chief magistrate would sit. The carved royal arms above the dais are those of Queen Anne, who reigned from 1702 to 1714. She was the last monarch who belonged to the House of Stuart. The arms acknowledged the union of England and Scotland in 1707. Above you will see two brass chandeliers. They have been on loan from Windsor Castle since the early 1950s. Each chandelier weighs over 317 kilograms. The wooden carved chairs are made of oak from Windsor Great Park. They bear the crest of Windsor, which has been used since 1439. Portraits of various monarchs of Great Britain, from Elizabeth I to Elizabeth II, line the walls, and most have been given to the council as gifts over the years. The paintings of George V and Queen Mary were given by their majesties as a gift in 1917 on the occasion of the royal family changing their name from Saxa Coburg Gotha to Windsor. The frames are made of oak from Windsor Great Park and match the frames of the paintings of Edward VII and Queen Alexandra. The largest painting in this room is of George IV who is dressed in the Order of the Garter robes. His hands rest on a table once owned by Napoleon, given to him after the Battle of Waterloo. He lived a lavish lifestyle and commissioned the mounted statue of his father, George III, at the end of the Long Walk, known locally as the Copper Horse. Either side of George IV is a young Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. The sapphire brooch worn by Queen Victoria was a wedding gift from Prince Albert, which has been worn by every Queen since. The Ascot Room is best known as the venue for the marriage ceremony of Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, on the 9th of April 2005. The civil partnership between the singer Sir Elton John and David Furnish was also celebrated here on the 21st of December 2005, the first day that civil partnerships became legal in the United Kingdom. This room is part of the 1829 extension and contains beautiful stained glass windows. The middle window on the back wall celebrates the renovation of the whole building in 1951, which took place as part of the Festival of Britain. Either side are windows made in 1886 by the Royal Windsor Stained Glass Manufactory. One is a tribute to Prince Leopold, youngest son of Queen Victoria, who died tragically at a young age. The other is in honour of Princess Beatrice, Victoria's youngest daughter. In 2012, two windows were installed to celebrate Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee, which depict four royal residences, Windsor Castle, Buckingham Palace, Sandringham House and Balmoral Castle. Between the windows is a painting of Elizabeth II. She wears the same sapphire brooch worn by the young Queen Victoria in the council chamber.
This is the Mayor's private office when in Windsor. The walls are adorned with mayoral portraits covering 200 years of service to the borough. Our longest serving mayor was Sir William Carter for 13 years, who was knighted for his passion and dedication to the town. The beautiful oak table with elaborately carved feet was presented in memory of Augustus Harris, Mayor in 1911. The tapestry commemorates the first exhibition of Windsor Tapestries in 1878. It shows the Royal and Corporation arms, an oak tree and a deer. Above the tapestry is a painting of James Bebra. He built the extension of the Guildhall in 1829 and was mayor in 1846 and 1853. Above the door to the Ascot Room is a portrait of George Davis, mayor in 1819. In 1820, George IV offered him a knighthood, but he refused, saying he'd rather have something to pass on to future mayors. The king gave him the medallion and chain, which mayors of the borough still wear today. We hope you enjoyed your tour of Windsor Guildhall. We hope to see you soon.